everybody, this is Tom from Vernon Bay. Today I'm going to show you how I made this raised garden using concrete blocks and I placed it up an against an existing wall. Now this existing wall is going to retain a lot of heat during the day. And so this is a perfect location for those heat loving plants like tomatoes, peppers, and corn. And that's what I pretty much placed along this area. So if you'd like to see how I did this and the amount of effort that went into it, and keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is from this point right here, over to here, 16 feet that way and then in, I'm gonna go ahead and just loosen up the soil and pull out any major roots or anything that are in there just to loosen it up. And it'll make it easier for me to keep the blocks uh, level as I, as I place them. It's a lot of work, I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, I got it all pretty well leveled off. So now I can go ahead and start placing the blocks. Uh, I'll place the first one right here, full length of 19 inches, and right ahead of it I'm going to go ahead and keep placing. I have the small ones a little bit lighter, easier to move. I'm going to continue to move this along just to make sure that I keep this outside block here, the 19 inches, the same depth. I don't want it varying back and forth, so I'll just continuously have a block in front of it here so I know it's the exact same width. So let's go ahead and place the first block and just work our way around. This is a lot of work, I'm not going to lie to you. Definitely want to take your time doing it. Uh, I'm a little bit out of shape and stuff, so I've been taking frequent breaks, lots of water, but I've got the blocks in. Uh, so the only thing I need to do now is add soil to it. So I'm going to start grabbing like eight or nine gallon buckets, fill them up here with dirt, and put a whole layer in here. And after I put a layer all the way down, probably four inches or so, I'm going to go ahead and go in and get some worm castings. And I'm going to put a whole layer of worm castings in there and then I'll come back to the compost bin and put some more dirt and some more uh, worm castings. So hopefully I'll have enough to fill everything up all the way. Uh, I, th I think I will. Okay, so this is what it looks like with uh, the first layer of uh, compost from the, the bin over there. You can see it's actually, you know, quite a bit lower now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just going to take this and level it out. And then I'll go ahead and get some uh, worm castings and dump in some worm castings and probably mix it just a little bit and uh, see what level we're at then. I do have a lot of castings I can put in here, so. Hey, everybody. Okay, it's uh, Saturday morning, so I got most of this done last night. All I have to do now is get the worm castings put in here, kind of churn it up and dig it up a little bit, and then maybe put a little bit more of my compost in here. Mix the whole thing up, level it out, and hopefully go get some seedlings so I can plant them. 
Okay, so I went ahead and brought out a bunch of uh, worm castings. I have this big 16-gallon uh, tote that's completely full. Of, that's unscreened castings, but that's fine. And then I have a mortar tray full of castings and another mortar tray. Both of those are screened. I have that 8-gallon bucket that's full of unscreened castings. I also have about uh, 12 pounds of coffee grounds that I'm just going to throw in there as well. And I already added a little bit of castings to the area right now. I took two of my vermi bags I had and uh, the little totes and I dumped those inside there. But I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of these into this area, mix it up and then see how much additional cast or uh, compost I need to add. One other thing I'm going to do is on the end here, I'm going to go ahead, I have a few extra blocks and since it'll only take me three blocks, I'm going to go ahead and extend this out a little bit further for I can put my squash in this little separate area right here. It's a lot of work, I'm not going to lie to you. I think I mentioned this before. Been a lot of work, but I'm pretty much done. Uh, I have compost in there and worm castings that brings it almost up to level. Um, if I had more compost, I'd probably add a little bit more. But I need a little bit after my the inside of the uh, concrete blocks here because I do want to put some fill a few of these for I can put a little bit of lettuce in them. And, uh, but I did have enough to put the squash area in, so I put it in, added some castings, a whole bucket of castings to that as well. So those are good to go. And now I probably have enough castings or uh, compost left over to top off my existing uh, raised beds over there. So here's all the seedlings I put in. I put in some corn down at the very end here. And again, uh, tomatoes in the back, peppers in the front. I have a few uh, lettuce right here in nine or ten blocks and uh, some of those are the larger tomatoes and the ones on this end are the little uh, cherry tomatoes. Uh, some different green peppers and down this end block I went ahead and put three of those squash that I had planted and in those little tubs uh, or in the little containers I have some cucumbers and I'm going to let uh, get a little bit bigger and I'll probably eventually put them over in the other uh, raised bed that I have. So overall, it looks pretty good. I'm real happy with it. I think it's gonna work out really well. I'll just hook up a little sprayer that'll spray against the wall here and splash back on everything and probably water everything pretty well. So, well, that's it. Uh, pretty quick for the most part and simple raised garden uh, using concrete blocks. Uh, makes it even easier if you have a wall you can build it up against. This is Tom from Vermibag. Till next time, ciao.